Today we're going to have a look at how to automate between Webflow forms and your Notion dashboard. So any new form submission will be a new database item on your Notion board. Welcome to day 88 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're going to be using Make to automate Webflow form submissions from Webflow to Notion. So anytime a new form submission is submitted on my Webflow page, it will create a new database item on my Notion dashboard. Now I've made a previous video on this topic. I automated Webflow form submission to Airtable. This is a new method. Now a friend of mine has brought this to my attention. It's much more useful. It's much more broad and it has much more benefit. So let's check this method out. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's check this out. So in the previous episode, we had a look at how we connected this contact form submission uh, from Webflow to Airtable. Today, we're going to have a look at a different method of doing this. So a different method of collecting form submission. I advised on this method and actually it's much better. So we're going to see how to do that. So we're going to collect the information from this make a new request form to my Notion board. So the request dashboard on my Notion uh, using make. So whenever my client wants a new request, they can fill in this form. It comes to my notion as a new task. So let's see how to do that. Let's create a new scenario. Now this new method is involving the webhook. So we're going to directly make the custom webhook and uh, we're going to add a new webhook. We're going to call this notion request. And then we're going to copy this link here. Basically, we're going to go to our site settings. We go to into integrations. And then we're going to create a new webhook. We're going to add this webhook. So we're going to use API version two. This is going to be a form submission webhook and we're going to paste in the URL. We add the webhook. Now this webhook is added. We are going to publish the site to make sure that this webhook is connected. Uh, now in order to see this uh, connected, we're going to have to make a submission, a form submission. So let's say this is a test. And uh, we're going to make it submit. And now you can see that it's submitted. Next is to collect this information and give it to Notion, you know, paste it as a new Notion uh, task. So we're going to connect Notion. We're going to create a database item. Uh, now we're going to select the database. So we're going to select from the list. So our database ID will be, let's search for it. So this is a request dashboard. Uh, let's search for it here. Request dashboard. It's searching. This is the database ID. So now it's connected. And uh, now we connect the fields. So name will be the title. Uh, request details will be request details status will be to do, of course, because this is a new request, the Figma link, and then we're going to fill in the date. So the date, I think it's this field two. I didn't think it collected the date uh, as we wanted, but we're going to keep going. So other links is other links. Let's test this out. So now this is connected to my database. Let's see if it pasted the information, not yet. So let's try this out. So we can run this and we can make a new form submission. So a new task. Let's try the date from one week from now. This is the Figma link. www make a new landing page. Let's try this. So if we go to our notion, we see a new task. Everything's connected. Even the date is connected. So November 13, that's a week from now. It's connected well, so that's correct. And this is now the new task. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. See you tomorrow.